My name's Jonathan Robinson, and I'm a, an applied sports scientist here at the University of Bath. And what I do is work with athletes and members of the public and the general population, really, with um, regards to fitness testing. So we do a range of fitness tests, and from the results of those fitness tests, we aim to improve the athlete's performance and their overall sort of fitness. The V2 max test is a test of maximal oxygen consumption. And it's a test that we use to assess aerobic fitness or endurance fitness. Um, what it will involve is the subject running on the treadmill and we record all the oxygen that they use and we also measure some of their blood parameters whilst they're running. From that we can look at how aerobically fit they are. The data we need prior to the start really I think is the same for all sorts of physiological assessments in that we'd need your, your age, your sex, your height and your weight and then we'd take some, some baseline measurements such as resting blood lactate and hematocrit and hemoglobin which are just normal baseline blood scores and then we would progress into the test itself. Great work, great effort, good. The test should take round about 20 minutes, that's what we aim for. It will vary dependent on the fitness of the athlete. Great work, we're nearly there. The way it works is that it's an incremental it's step five test. Seconds. So it starts off gradually and progressively gets harder go up now. to the point Coming where the forward. athlete says they further. can't do anymore and we, we stop the test there. We get um, a range of data. Obviously we get the VO2 max, which is a figure of how much oxygen the person who's done the test can use when they're working as hard as they can. And as I said, that's an indication of their aerobic fitness. We also get a range of blood-related variables, um, such as blood lactate, which indicate how hard the person's feeling how hard the exercise is whilst they're doing the test. And that's something that can be influenced by training. So that's where you would see an improvement if people were to do retests. The people who tend to get the better scores are endurance athletes, but it really has quite an important role in, in team sports as well. And as a general measure of fitness, away from sporting populations, it's one of the most important parameters that people would want to have assessed. 